So um, today we've got another um, holiday or vintage cube. Um, see if I can pick any better than I did yesterday. Um, okay, so already um, we have a Mox Pearl, um, one of the Power Nine. Um, we have a Deceiver Exarch, which fits in with um, the Splinter Twin. Uh, Kiki Jiki combo. Uh, Ancient Tomb is good. It's mana ramp. Um, deals two damage to you, but uh, that could sometimes not be an issue. Dark Petition goes in the Storm deck, I believe, um, basically because it yeah adds mana. Uh, I'm going to reserve the Mox Pearl because that's basically what I'm going to take. Um, Grim Monolith artifact. Um, it's mana ramp. Oracle of Moldova is very good. I think mean, basically all of these cards are very good. <laughs> the cube does, tends not to have bad cards in it. Um, but yeah, I'll start with the Mox Pearl. Uh, probably not going to be white, but you tend not to be able to turn down the Moxon. Okay. What do we got here? We've got nothing yet. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune, um, that's good, <coughs> again in the Storm type deck, um, got a Signet, so these tend to be very good in, um, again, any sort of ramp type thing, um, Secure Tribal that is very good in ramp as well, uh, well, uh, perhaps I'm being slightly hyperbolic, it's good. Um, Woodland Conservatory is good. Um, I suspect I'm missing. I mean, Duplicant works very well in the like artifact type. I think generally it's a pretty good card. Um, I don't really know how to exploit it properly, so I'm probably going to stay with the Signet. Um, Time of Goy's good, but it's probably going to where well, it's going to wheel. Um, yeah, okay, we'll just try the Signet. We'll maybe try some sort of ramp deck. Um, okay, so we've got two cards here which work really well in, in the ramp types deck. Juraga Tree Speaker um, and Freilis Lanoir's Fury. Uh, so this one, uh, one of its abilities is yeah, just poop out um, elves. The uh, mana elves that tap for one mana, draw a tree speaker. I mean, these actually combo really well with each other because if you level it up once, um, it taps for two. If you level it up five times, which is fairly unlikely, admittedly, all of your elves can tap for it. Um, I think I'm going to reserve the tree speaker. It's cheaper. Um, this is tends to be more of a utility. It will go in most decks if it splashes. Thing, whereas Freilis tends to be more specifically for a green base deck, that might be a huge lie, of course. Um, uh, as in, I don't actually know. Um, Goblin Guide's very good for um, the red deck. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I think still on the the ramp type deck, I will need some. Big cards to ramp into. Crater Hakuth Behemoth, um, Terastodon. Primarily green, big fat dudes. Um, Moat's very good and very irritating. <laughs> um, it's possible that I should take Moat over just a mana dude, but I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll take the Arbor Elf. Um, Iona Shield of Emerara, which I've hideously mispronounced. I mean, yeah, that's it's it's heavy, heavy white, obviously. Tusha Seeker is just brilliant in the artifact type deck. Um, Ruban Crack. Wolf of Silverheart's not that good. Um, I suppose it works really well in lots and lots of creatures. Okay, so I've got three, which immediately leap off. Um, 
Master of the World Hunt brings out um, uh, lots and lots of tokens, uh, wolf tokens. So that works. For, I mean, that's a really good card. It's not particularly rampish. Um, but we've got Awakening Zone and also Elfless Mystic, which both ramp. Um, I've not actually got anything to ramp into yet, which is fairly worrying, but hopefully that will come. I don't really know. Uh, let's take Master of the Wild Hunt. I, I mean, I can, I should be able to hit it on turn three, um, maybe turn two if I'm incredibly lucky. Um, so Grave Titan is pretty brilliant. Um, I mean, I could look at black for my um, second color. Genesis Wave is good. What's it do again? So yeah, Genesis Wave is pretty hardcore. Um, Thrag Tusk is really good, but I'm actually thinking that my Slaver or Stafford Dominion is better. My Slaver, if you can recurse this, and there's a couple of cards in this cube that do, Basically, you just take over their entire um, the rest of the game, which is fairly depressing. Um, Staff of Dominion is very good. I suspect that I should actually pick Staff instead of Mind Slaver, but Mind Slaver is fun, so we'll try that. Uh, um, if this was, if Nixus was. At the end, I would snap it up because hopefully by then I'd be have a lot more of any particular colour. But at the moment, it's a bit. I mean, it can ramp you ridiculously. Um, I think I'm going to get the Temple Garden. Uh, actually, let's take Breeding Pool. Um, if I do see any blue cards that I want, which you pretty much always do. Um, now, Cloud Goat Ranger, or f I think I'm going to take another Mana Dude. Um, again, I've still not got anything to ramp into, so this could all go horribly, horribly wrong. Um, but yeah, we'll take Finhorn Elves. Okay, so there's something. Primal Hunter. Um, oh yeah, this is from my first pack. So it looks like no one's found Kiki Jiki or um, Splinter Twin because Deceiver Arc is still floating around. Um, that's yeah, that's not going to happen for me now. So Garrick Primal Hunter um, should be able to get it out fairly quick, and it does bad things. I mean, it's not. None of this is hideously broken. Um, take go if it's not going to be wonderful. Um, I mean, it, it might be if if my opponent's on a some bizarre, well, not bizarre, some normal, um, hideously broken type deck. Lots of things tend to go into the graveyard relatively quickly. Um, so this could do some work. Mere bat sphere. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be um, one of my win conditions. Um, hopefully, if I can ramp up to this fairly quickly. Once this comes out, uh, it does bad things. It does very, very bad things. Um, I'm going to take Moat. I'm going to put it in my sideboard. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be playing a lot of artifacts. Genesis Wave, we'll have that. So no one really, I mean, Green appears to be fairly open, actually so does white, which works well with the pearl. Um, actually, Sphere, um, Sphere of Heliod, um, obviously if I get a ton of dudes out, then it makes my Manor Elves actually useful. So that's possible. Um, uh, okay. I mean, Manor Elves is good. But as soon as I've already got three, I mean, I've got a ton. Um, Lightsteel Colossus. Yeah, if this comes out soon, early, this gets really scary. It's got Infect. 
So I only need to hit once, really. Um, so yeah, like Silk Colossus. Um, I'm going to put the Mind Slaver in the sideboard because I don't think it's going to work for me. Ooh, lovely. Assault Monolith. Um, pay three, tap it for three. Pay three to untap because it doesn't untap on our untap step. Um, Oh, opposition. Oh dear. So this is a really, really powerful card. Um, tap and untap creature you control, tap land. So basically if you've got a load of creatures, you can tap down the opponent's entire, you know, board. Um, lands everything. I think, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have that many creatures, so I'm gonna stick with the Salt Monolith. That may be a huge catastrophic mistake, as usual. Um, okay, Armageddon. Um, yeah, if I get if I can get enough Manor Elves, Ramp, etc., out, and then just destroy all the lands, that's going to be difficult for people to recover from. Um, and as soon as I've already got the Mox Pearl, it should work. Uh, So green appears to be pretty much vanishing, um, which is not great. Uh, uh, what does Gideon Jura do? Uh, creatures in the, uh, uh, Um, I could. I'm going to take Inferno Titan. I've already got one way of. Uh, Raptor Signet sort of helps. I mean, the Signet is completely in the wrong colours. Because I seem to be more white, green. Um, but yeah, I'll take Inferno Titan because I thought that might happen. Uh, Mox Diamond. But really, I mean, yeah, if I've got a. A very land heavy hand, and then that works well. Zealous Crocs Constructs, um, that's another card that works well with the um, uh, Splinter Twin Kiki Jiki deck. Sneak Attack, always scary. Um, this doesn't really. Uh, No, it's not. This isn't great. It's not a great pack for me. Um, I mean, Seam Jack, uh, Tassiga. Yeah, okay. Um. Ooh, all the roots. Uh, so, again, this is a um, like a manor elf. Uh, it, I mean, it's obviously not exactly. Um, but you can uh, it, it it can um, provide mana, so that's cool. Um, I think we'll take Path to Exile to get rid of you know the one huge creature that most of my opponents will probably end up playing. Um, it's going to be terrible against uh, you know White Weenie or whatever, but also it takes that sort of card away from my um, opponents. Garrick. Oh, Parallax Wayu. Uh, I mean, Parallax Wayu can be very good. Um, so the way it works, it's got fading. Um, you remove a fade counter from it and you can exile a target creature. Once all the fade counters have vanished, then all the creatures come back. Um, so you can either remove a ton all in one go. Um, or one, and then it stays away for five um, things, or anywhere in between, obviously. Um, Garrett Collar Base, I think. It's very green. It does stuff. Um, oh, Academy Ruins. So this combos really, really, really well with Mind Slaver. This is basically, um, yeah, take their turn. 
do I want to try that? My slave is really cool, and it was pretty much guaranteed to find an, uh, find a um, target, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. Um, Academy ruins though. Ooh, but I don't have any blue. I can splash blue. I've got a green pool. Damn, damn. Oh well, fine. Um, Well, Green Sun Zenith is the only obvious card. Um, I can use it to get um, any of my elves out. Um, it's it might actually be worth counter drafting just Miriam Crusader. No, okay. Um, I can go for all of the Gurex. I mean, this isn't Lotus Bloom isn't a particularly good card because um, it takes three to come in and then you sack it and then you give it three back. Uh, but I really don't think I'm going to be playing Apex Predator. Well, I took Apex Predator anyway. Okay, how about Water? I don't think I'm going to play that. Um, so it, it does look like. I mean, green appears to be fairly open, but at the same time, I mean, that second pack, uh, yeah. the second pack, um, I suppose I did get a fair amount of green. Oh, oh dear. Oh, okay, so we have Mox, Mox, Mox Sapphire, obviously ridiculous powerful. Primeval Titan, however, might be better. Worm Coil Engine, uh, Gaius Cradle. All right, if you look at this, tap, um, tap it to add green to your mana pool for each creature you control. A ridiculous card. Um, absolutely ridiculous. I don't know... I think for my deck, Primeval Titan is better. Um, that might just be hideously wrong though. I mean, Worm Call Engine is also brilliant. Um, yeah, I mean, Sapphire, Worm Call Engine, Guy's Cradle, none of these are going to come back to me. Warm Power Stone, that's not going to come back to me either. Um, Wrath of God. Uh, uh. Yeah, okay, so let's take Primeval Titan. That was tough. Ooh, Crave of Behemoth. We'll have him. Or Kozilek, Butcher of Truth. Ooh. Okay, so what does Crave of his do? So that's basically a massive, huge overrun for all of my elves. Uh, anything else? Um, and I can pretty much play it the turn after Primeval Turn in, in Magical Christmas Land. Um, yeah, I'm going to stay away from Coastal Lake, Butcher of Truth. It's possible that I can get to it. Um, Living Death, really good in the um, a Reanimator type deck. Um, I was playing Reanimator yesterday and would have loved this card. Um, I'm sort of worrying that I'm, I don't actually have that much ramp though. Well, I suppose I've got a ton of elves. Oh, yeah, Massacre Worm is just ridiculous. Oh, Rafellos. <laughs> okay, so Rafellos. <laughs> yes, um, tap it, add green of mana to for each forest you control. So, in my very heavy green deck, with lots and lots of forests, it's going to be ridiculous. Um, so yeah, Rafellos. I mean, it's a huge um, target. Uh, 
sellers in a silk signet. I think I'm okay on the like top end. Um, what with yeah. Yeah, I mean, these are, I think I'm good. Um, so, so it's near Signet, I think. Um, I mean, it also helps with white, so that's good. Uh, do I actually have a way of calf hitting? No, I don't. Um, it's Kiki Jiki, other part of the Splinter Twin Kiki Jiki, etc. deck. Um, Tendrils Agony, win condition. Oh, actually, we've got Kiki Jiki and Pestamite in the same deck. Oh, someone's going to do that. Um, what am I going to do? I'm thinking. Oh, how harmonize. Draw three cards, you get missed that. Um, Forest Plains, exactly in my colours. I don't need uh, Breeding Pool because I don't have any blue. So it's Heath, um, Fetch Land. Nice. I'll have that. Priorities in Revoker. Um, you can stop. Uh, you can name things and stop things from happening. So good against planeswalkers, etc. Oh, guys, Cradle as well. Okay, so obviously someone wants me. Uh, what survival of the fittest in? Uh, I mean, I've got some artifacts, so. Measure of workshop isn't terrible. Um, actually, blade splicer. Yeah, I've got a white, a bit of a white splash. Uh, or is actually council's judgment is going to be better for me. It's for removal, so we'll have that. Uh, what does pattern of rebirth do? It's got red on it. Oh, sorry, it's got um, green on it. Uh, yeah, okay, that's terrible. Um, Hunt master is good. I'm going to take Mother of Runes. It's a hugely irritating card. Um, okay, so no one's playing Storm, which is nice to see. Uh, and a bunch of white cards. No one's playing White Weenie either, because I've got a ton of white. Um... So those are all lands. Uh, Mox Pearl counts as a land. Mox Diamond, I'm not sure if it does or not, because um, you need to have a land, so I don't think it counts as a land. Um, I might actually not play it. Yeah, I mean, it's only really useful in very heavy hand, uh, land decks. Hands, sorry, not decks. Okay, so I like those. Uh, I like all of this. Raptor Signet is basically just ramping because um, it doesn't actually give us any colors that we want, but hey, it might be a bit of a pain. Uh, Basalt Monolith, yes, would have liked a bit more, you know, pound, uh, worn power stone, any of those sorts of cards that um, basically are facts that tap for colorless mana. Harmonize draw cards, that's good. How many cards? Okay, so that's four, so I'm down to 22. Okay.
Um, so my sort of options are I have white card, creatures without flying can't attack. Um, that sort of wrecks me, so I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to play that. Uh, Mother of Runes, I'll bring in the sideboard. Um, Spirit of Labyrinth again if they're doing lots of drawing. Um, but I, I mean, it's not a very good card. Uh, Burnish Priest, all right. Council's Judgment's very good if I need it to bring in, so I'm not going to bring that in. So I think it's either Genesis Wave or Hangerback Walker. Um, what does Kildoth Forge Master do again? Sack three, search library for an artifact card and put it onto the battlefield, then search your shuffle library. Um, Mm, I don't know. I mean, I've not got that many artifacts. I mean, pretty much the only artifact I would be looking to get would be Battle uh, Mere Battle Sphere, and I would need it and two other artifacts to do it. So yeah, that's really, really unlikely. So okay, yeah, that's that's staying out. I mean, I could sack Mox Bill, that really sort of defeats the object. Um, Genesis Wave. Reveal top X cards of your library, you may put any number of permanent cards with it, blah 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 blah. Yeah, no, that I mean yeah, no. So hang back walker. Um let's uh, Yeah, I, I think I'm fairly happy with this deck. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm hideously going to lose, but anyway. Uh, Mox Pearl, that, that, that. I mean, Ruffellos and Guy's Cradle should produce, you know, pretty much all of the land in the, in the uh, all the manner in the world. Uh, so hopefully that should be good. Sort by colour. Every green, very, very heavy green. Hugely green. All right, so. Um, I think. I got Mox Pearl as well. Um, so, I mean, three might even be too much. Oh, didn't I get short source to plowshares? Uh, apparently not. I wonder what I took in its place. Oh, that was might have been when I saw um, Harmonize. Um, uh, Source of Plowshares is another Pathway Exile type effect, which I will show you what that does in a second. Uh, so, two, so that's three white sources and a billion green sources. Uh, so it was, where's Pathway Exile? Uh, Source of Plowshares basically does exactly the same as this, only uh, instead of giving the opponent land, it gives the opponent life equal to its, I think it's either toughness or power, whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, both of these are late games, or they yeah, are potentially late games anyway, so I, I'm, that might be too many um, planes as it is. Because I've got Savannah, I mean, that's four, five, because when that heaps finds, so yeah, I've got tons, that's tons and tons of, um, uh, I think, in fact, nope, 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 nope. Uh, okay, potentially, we'll do it. All right, so that's submitted. Everything's good, and I'll see you in round one.